it's Demo Donna here again with your technique of the week and this week I am going to teach you everything I know about how to adhere your flocking and sparkle and soft. Of course it's kind of hard to see on film that these are super awesome, very soft and velvety to the touch. So I hope you enjoy this quick video by Sparkle and Sprinkle. So in this video technique I am going to show you how to use our flocking and sparkle and soft. Now here I put it on our terrific tape. I used it with the dimensional glue, the brushable glue, and the glue pen. And a quick difference right away you can see with our flocking, it is just a straight flocking powder without any sparkle. This would be great for pets, human hair, and this one here is our sparkle and soft which is so pretty and sparkly. You can see all the pretty sparkles in it where the regular flocking has just that beautiful natural look. So you wanna decide what type of projects you're doing and if you want there to be a shimmer or if it's more like wildlife and you're looking for a flat look. So here in this card, I am going to use the Sparkle and Soft on fun things like her hearts and her slippers and I'm gonna use the flocking on the teddy bear and her hair. And I'm using this adorable stamp set, the sleepover. And um, this is so cute and fun that I thought it would be perfect for the flocking. So I'm gonna take the dimensional glue and just go ahead and work it right out of the bottle. This is really fun because this, not only with the flocking, is going to stay nice and raised, but it's also gonna be nice and soft. So I'm just gonna apply a good amount, and something like this, I applied a good thickness there on her slippers. And you're gonna wanna let that dry for at least 30 minutes. Whenever I'm doing something super dimensional, I let it dry overnight, so it's your call. But to be on the safe side, something as thick as that, I would let it dry overnight. So now I'm gonna take a good mountain of my Sparkle and Soft, and then I'm gonna use my finger tool to just go ahead and give it a gentle, very gentle tap. I am not squishing it, I am not rubbing it, just a little gentle tap. The flocking and the sparkle and soft are so light, they just kind of sit above your project. So right now this looks very white, but the glue, the dimensional glue, is going to dry transparent. So you're gonna end up with this beautiful pink, the slippers were already pink underneath, and then when you touch them, they're gonna be nice and soft. So there is her beautiful slippers. Now another way to adhere your flocking is to take your glue pen and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of adhesive to my hearts. And the trick is you wanna still add your flocking to the glue pen when it is blue. And that way it stays permanently. So now that all my little hearts are colored in, and the glue pen is slightly tinted blue, that's what I'm talking about when I say add it when it's blue. The glue pen it has a slight tint to it when it's wet and then it dries clear. So I'm gonna once again take my finger tool and just tap that in. Give it a nice flick. And you've got these adorable, fluffy, sparkle and soft hearts on her jammies. All right, so now that I'm done using the Pink Spirit, is the name of the pink sparkle and soft that I used, we are going to color her teddy bear and accent, give her little highlights with her hair. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use my brushable glue. And the brushable glue is a ton of fun. I use it on all sorts of things. So everything I'm doing here with, with the flocking and the sparkle and soft, you can also do with your glitter. All right, so I am just going to dip my brushable glue, my paintbrush, into my brushable glue, and I am just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of my brushable glue to my teddy bear, to my teddy bear here. It's just gonna be a highlight. And I am using this stamp set, but what I went ahead and did, I'm sure you noticed a size difference, is what I went ahead and did is I used the digital images. So therefore, I could print it out really large for you to see it in this video. Um, also, it came pre-colored. When you do the digital images, you can do the colored version or you can do the 
black and white. So here you see my teddy bear. Now if I want, if I think I add a little bit too much or I want the actual lines of that stamp design, I can go ahead and take my fingernail tool and I am just pushing away the flocking. If you could see that, I just pushed away the flocking so you could still see the black lines there from my stamp design. So it still looks really bold, yet it's still nice and velvety soft. So next I'm gonna take my glue pen and I'm just gonna go ahead and give her a couple highlights. Now this would be really pretty with the buff that I'm using now, as well as we have a darker brown, which is really fun. I just wanna make sure that you're still able to see through it. So once again, throw a nice little mountain of flocking, finger tool, tap that down, give that a good flick, and then you've got a really fun, fluffy mane. She might think it's frizzy, but it's not frizzy. She looks adorable. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and done everything to our stamp design that I did here on my card. So that is super. And next we are going to do the background. So all I did was lay down my three quarter and then a quarter inch of my terrific tape. So just, just like I said, just like with um, glitter, everything you do to apply your glitter, you can use to apply your flocking and your sparkle and soft. So it's adhesives that we're using. So I'm just going to take my beautiful pink spirit sparkle and soft and burnish that in really well with my finger tool and that is how you do it on your sticker paper or your terrific tapes so burnish that in tap that off and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my glitter brush and just wipe off all the excess and now I have a super fun textured, it's super soft, and then really sparkly background. So when I layer this all up, like I did here on my card, it's got a whole bunch of different elements happening. And here are a few other samples. Um, I did the flocking with the uh, Dreamweaver stencil, which is really fun. So same technique as I did with the flower stencils a couple weeks ago, but I did it with our um, flocking, which turned out to be really pretty. Um, I also did, sorry to shoot on an um there, I also did the flocking here over our beautiful watering can. So here it is with the sparkle and soft, and that's just with my dimensional glue right over the image really fun on our new stamp set. I layered up the blanket. So after I did one layer with my brushable glue of the flocking, um, it wasn't even dry. I just dipped into my brushable glue again and went over it and I built upon the layer. So she has a super fluffy blanket and then went ahead and highlighted the lady's hair with our elephant gray, which was really fun and really brought it to life as well as highlighted the teddy bear. And then here are some beautiful card examples that E. Marie did, one of our amazing designers. And she just simply used the glue pen and then our sparkle and soft to highlight the flowers, as well as this cute little owl card that she had made. And she's got tons of layers in there. And that is our sparkle and soft to give it another added bit of dimension. And then you can do a really bold, dramatic look like this one here, also by E. Marie, where she did it on our terrific sheet. And this is a really fun look to do a fun like laser dye. So you put the dye on first on the adhesive and then add your sparkle and soft. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial on flocking and sparkle and soft by Sparkle and Sprinkle. I hope you subscribe for our channel and we will see you next week. Thanks again. Thank you.